We had a footage of a backstage, actually it was outside the building, alleged fan cam footage where Riddle and Rollins get into a big fight and it gets broken up. And they say as a result of this, these men, they cannot be in the building together. So we're going to put them in separate places. Corey Graves is going to interview them. So Corey Graves does the interview, and it starts out as just your typical... It's your typical WWE back and forth interview. They're hyping up the match. They're doing their gimmicks and everything like that. And uh, finally, Riddle makes a comment about how you know there's there's one man in your family, Seth, and it's it's Becky, or some comment like that. But anyway, so they go, all right, uh, we're gonna head to a commercial break. So they come back from the break, and the announcers say, when the segment ended, the mics were still on. Let's go to this footage of what happened. And so they go back to the footage, and it's uh, Seth Rollins saying, uh, well, first Riddle goes, we're off? All right. And he starts taking the stuff off, and then Seth goes, Matt, you still there? And Riddle says, yeah. And he goes, what are you doing talking about my family? You want to talk about family? Why don't we talk about your family? Why don't we talk about your wife? Oh, we can't, because she divorced you and took the kids, because I don't want to hang around a bitch like you. And Riddle goes, who are you calling a bitch? And they start swearing back and forth, and... Riddle has some line about, I'm going to beat the fuck out of you, and they bleep it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they did the big, hardcore, back-and-forth shoot-style deal. Totally different than anything you would ever see with Vince. And, man, it was... uh, I thought this was great. It was very intense, and it was was pretty damn cool. I mean, it it felt like, uh, you know, the total... I mean, I'm sure it was, was the the John Jones, Daniel Cormier thing, where they did their, um, you know, they did their press... And then, um, you know, they were in separate rooms, and John Jones just kept, as soon as the camera's off, like John Jones on camera is being like, you know, trying to be like nice guy and all that. And then as soon as like the camera's off, he doesn't know he's being filmed, he just turns into like the biggest dick in the world. And, um, you know, and that, that was a very famous thing and, and drew a lot, and I'm sure. There's some, you know, some people in WWE know about it. I'm sure Riddle does, con- considering Riddle, I think, was uh, in UFC at the time. And Rollins might as well. I mean, it was a pretty big... It was a great thing to hype a fight. And these guys did the pro wrestling version of it, which won't be as successful because it's not as believable. But um, I thought that, um, yeah, you don't expect someone to go, you know, your wife left you. And you can't see your kids because uh, you know they don't want your, your kids don't want to see you. And then Riddle just like freaks out and starts swearing. And yeah, I mean, really, I thought really good. You know, they made they made this into a stronger issue uh, because of that promo. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.